I was just scared. I didn't have anything for her. And um, I was really honestly scared to come through the door. I sat outside for maybe 45 minutes before I actually walked through the door and was ready to come. <laughs> I was really, really scared and really nervous moving into a new house with people I don't know and don't know if I should trust them. And it was just really scary for me until my son threw his cup out the window. That was time to get out the truck. <laughs> When I first walked through the door, I felt like it was home. I was scared, but it was home. It's where I needed to be. My name is Marty Gall, and I am a, a house mom, like we used to be called. We're now called house staff. So while we are pretty much moms to the girl, we do all the mom duties, sometimes they don't um, have a good relationship with their mom or want to be mothered. They're older. And um, so now we call ourselves staffs and we kind of just keep that more of a professional relationship and it doesn't create, you know, that negative pull. You know, teenagers or, or young adults don't want to be mothered anymore. <laughs> they they want to just have somebody to guide them and to be their confidant, their friend. <laughs> They don't judge you from where you come from. They don't judge how you grew up or what you've done in your past. And it really, they really do support you on everything. They make sure you get to the doctor's appointments that you need to go to and therapy if you need it. And they offer so many resources and places for you to get help. And they're just a lot of support. I love Mary's and ladies. Ow, don't pull my hair. <laughs> Well, I never imagined that we would have a maternity home in Dubuque, Iowa, ever. I never saw myself doing that. Um, but on, in all honesty, the Lord wanted it, and He has led the way um, the whole time, and He always exceeds our expectations. So um, 15 girls in less than three years, I think that's more than we were expecting. Um, the support from the community. We have a fully stocked store that the girls can shop at that has diapers and clothes and wipes and anything they could want that they can purchase with the points that they earn here. That's exceeded my expectations. The support from the community really has been over the top. I couldn't have done it without the community. So that's been the biggest surprise. <laughs> I think it's both and. It's a nice neighborhood, just a middle class neighborhood. The neighbors are nice. It's a nice, it's nice to show the girls that have not always had that, that there is another way to live. That you can have nice neighbors, you can feel secure in a home, and people are supportive. Everyone wants to see them succeed. You know, if a girl wants to make some good changes in her life, there is no shortage of people who will help her do that. So that's um, at least they can show, we can show them that that's possible. There is another life out there than worrying all the time about, you know, who your neighbor is or what they might do or um, being broken into, things like that. So it's nice to show there's another, another way to live. Um, well, eventually I want to work with disabled kids. It's like my dream to, or like the disabled elder. But, um, yeah, just basically I want to work with the disabled. I've come from a bad home, and I've shared my story with them. And they're so inspiring and helping and so supportive of what I've been through and they continue to help me. 
Mm -hmm. And that's what makes them great. And I recommend anybody who, you know, is feeling lost or don't have anywhere to go to make sure to come to Mary's Inn because you'll never have another experience like this one. They take care of you and they love you like they're you're their own kids. Mm -hmm.